You're hearing a new song called A Widow's Might, and it was sung about two days ago by the choir that I direct. What's neat about it is its creation was assisted and sped up by AI, specifically uh, ChatGPT and Udio.com. Take a listen. There's currently no AI that will output sheet music in a style that you specify, you know, with instruments uh, and lyrics and all that that you just saw. So in the end, you're going to be putting notes and words on the page. Uh, I use MuseScore to do that. But you can use an AI uh, or a couple different AI programs uh, to get the time to sheet music way down, like half. Uh, in this video, I'll take you through how this song, A Widow's Might, was composed and written. The Gospel reading last weekend was Mark 12, 41 through 44, which tells the story of a widow who donates her last two copper coins to the temple. And I wasn't coming up with a great or maybe enjoyable to sing choral song that uh, matches that story. And in the past, you know, when something like this comes up, I've written other songs that fit special needs like this one. <laughs> But those take a really long time, and I'm not a particularly good composer, so I decided to see if AI could help me out. First up, I use uh, large language models to help me with the lyrics. Um, don't expect to get perfect lyrics out of these things, uh, and use as many LLMs as you like because you're going to get different responses from each. But in the end, you're going to have to massage them into something that actually can be used. Now, I have four techniques that I use to get to final lyrics. So first off, use multiple sources. You can see i got ChatGPT up here. Um, I'll actually refresh it start from scratch. And uh, then I've got Gemini here and the actual uh, you know, text from various Bibles I can turn to here. <clears throat> so you get your sources together and you just start with a prompt for what it is that you're writing. I've got a very specific prompt here, so we're going to paste that in. Uh, write lyrics. Whoops. <laughs> it wrote in the prompt for... Oh, well, it understood what I meant. So write lyrics for a choral song based on Mark 12, 41 through 44. And this is typical. You get pretty verbose responses. You can look for lines in here that you like, though. What you want to get to is lines that you can use and then make them into rhyming couplets and build it into a story that you know actually work for your lyrics. So the next prompt that I like to use is um, make each stanza one rhyming couplet. You can make this a lot more concise and easy for a choir to sing with something like this. It, it'll typically give you too much. So um, yeah, here we go. We've got some rhyming couplets, and then we can even say uh, make those lyrics shorter. So this is just a way to get grist for the mill, basically. Um, you're going to look through these, you're going to read through these, and try to find things that you like. So here we go. Um, you know, fair, fairly concise here. Uh, you can see that we've got the same thing going on over here in Gemini, but we get very different responses from Gemini. So we start out and say, um, write lyrics for a choral song, based on that. Okay. And we get, again, fairly verbose, but I look through these, and I try to find lines that I like. Like this line right here. Two tiny coins, a widow's might. <clears throat> um, I'm actually, uh, I'll use that to demonstrate the next part. So then the next thing that I usually tell it to do, like I said, is uh, make each stanza one rhyming couplet. Now you got way easier to sing. Um, but there was a widow poor whose humble gifts surpassed their store. You can take these couplets and um, you often reshape them a little bit or reorder them to get what, you know, the story that you're after. Um, and then my last favorite thing, so so far we've you know, used multiple sources, um, prompt for, you know, write lyrics, and then make, make it shorter, basically. Read through these things, find lines that you like. Uh, I chose this one, two tiny coins, a widow's might. I am going to stick it into the next one in this part that says insert here. So take your favorite lines and tell it to give you some rhyming couplets. And I tell it to give me ten rhyming couplets. So if we head back over here... Um, Two tiny coins, a widow's might. Her heart was pure, her spirit bright. Don't like that one, but you get the idea. You get a rhyming couplet. Okay, her, her humble offering, a sacred light. That's usable. Um, read through these. In her simple act, a love so right. Yeah, that works. It's rhyming. Um, 
So you want to think about how you're going to massage these into something that actually uh, fits the, the, you know, the story that your lyrics need to tell. So go line by line, um, verse by verse, and build up the lyrics of your song, and you can get a lot of help, basically. And then the last thing here, I actually often will turn to here and just you know, rip text straight from uh, you know, various versions of the Bible. Okay, so here is another uh, line that seems interesting. I actually pieced it together from different versions of uh, you know, the text. And I'm going to say the same thing now. Um, I'm going to take this. Give me ten rhyming couplets that each start with this. Yeah, those are usable. And I can do the same thing over here in Gemini. Give me ten rhyming couplets that start with that. All right, so we're going we're gonna to keep working through these, doing the same thing, and eventually we're going to get to a set of lyrics. Okay, we've got this. Uh, a Widow's Might, um, and here we have all the uh, things that we want to say. Um, and we even got this last verse to sort of you know, look more broadly. That was one of the suggestions, I think, from the GPT, the original GPT that had a bridge here. Teach us, Lord, to give like she, with faith unshaken and humility. So that's sort of like looking out, not just looking at the text. Uh, we sort of incorporated that here. Let our hearts be open wide to share our gifts. Let love be our guide. So we've got lyrics. And now we can take those lyrics and we're going to get musical ideas. Again, grist for the mill. Okay, now into my uh, favorite program here, uh, or AI here. This is udio.com. You get an account, you get on here, and for the moment this is free. You can make you know a number of uh, things in a, in a day. Um, and what we're going to do first is we're going to tell it what kind of song we want. So think about what you're after. I'm going to say four-part vocals, polyphonic, a cappella, and melodic. Um, and you can add as many things as you're interested in there. And we're going to tell it some lyrics. I, I like the chorus that we have here, Two Tiny Coins. Um, so down here we're going to go to the Write Lyrics and then the Lyrics Editor. We're going to drop those right there. You don't want them to be too long if you put too much text in there. You only get a 30 second clip. It won't all fit. If you put too little in there, you'll get a bunch of garbage in between the lyrics. So try to you know aim for something that's about right. And you're going to go up here and hit Create. All right, we've got our two uh, samples up here. If we just click on the Play button, it's going to start playing those for us. <laughs> don't like that one. So those didn't turn out quite the way we wanted. Let's go with um, Renaissance or, yeah, polyphonic, a cappella. We're not going to do melodic anymore. Um, so what you do is you change your prompts and you keep creating. And once you get to something that you kind of like, you might have to hit create three or four times until uh, you get to a usable um, set of music, you know, something that you can really uh, get your creative juices flowing. I never actually use exactly what I get out of this. Like I said, not going to get a finished product out of these AI tools, but you will get uh, grist for your mill. You know, your mind will start churning, thinking about what you can make out of each of these that you get. Not what I'm after, but better. So, it's a little better. Um, now, you can see over here there's this extend button. If you get something you do like, you can have it extend into a verse and see what kind of verse might match up with that. Again, you're probably not going to use it the way it is, but you'll get ideas. All right, so I did this for a while, and I came up with something that's a reasonable start. good start. Um, I actually really like that ascending line right in here. 
So you get your, you know, like the altos sort of uh, ascending there, and then the sopranos finish out the line at the top. Uh, that's nice, and I think it's it fits the style that we're after. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to pull up a program called MuseScore. If you're unfamiliar with MuseScore, it's an open source uh, pro for writing uh, scores, musical scores. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're getting set up with our Muse score here. Um, we're going to have women on top, men on bottom. Now we, I'll have the organ play the uh, double on the men's and women's parts, and then we also have uh, a really great flute and oboe player in the choir. So we're going to add those in there. Uh, we can send those down. Hit done, and here is our initial score. Whoops. Let's try that again. Here is our initial score. Oops, so we still got the oboe on top. I wanted to send that down. Down, down, down. Okay. So this is how we're going to have it look. We'll call it a widow's mite. And um, I am actually going to start by transcribing that ascending line that I started with. Okay, so this is not exactly the same as what we heard in that recording, but it's fairly close. Um, you've got you know the the words same words two tiny coins a widow's mite she gave her last name was found right and this uh, it's got that same you know ascending alto line here and then it gets finished off by the sopranos before it, before it comes back down I threw in an, a, a run here that wasn't actually in the original recording but I thought it you know it sounded pretty good so we can play what this sounds like using um, uh, Muse score here. All right, so that's a pretty good start. Um, let's see if we can fill in some bass and tenor parts for that and then figure out some sort of uh, melody that'll go with it for the lyrics and then um, you know, put the whole thing together. So here we go.
Okay, we've got to something usable here. I actually think I'm gonna take the whole thing and transpose it up. But um, you can see how just from a 30 second segment of, of you know two tiny coins, a widow's might, she gave her all and was found right. You get like your juices flowing. Um, it sort of s speaks to what the, the rest of the parts there should look like and what the feel for the piece is. And honestly, it wasn't that difficult to then um, write the rest of the melody and, and harmonies for all of those verses because it's all sort of set. Um, so this would have taken me, you know, a whole weekend to write, and instead it took, uh, I don't know, four, four or five hours or something like that. So using AI is uh, not as not going to fix your problems. You know, you're not going to get a song or sheet music out of it, but you are going to get a whole lot of uh, creative ideas that you can work with. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more unique and useful do-it-yourself builds.